On this episode of Acting Up, we visit the Artist Benefit Concert at Knox Presbyterian Church. Artist Benefit Concert. My name is Pat Kentner. I'll be your Master of Ceremonies for the evening. Uh, so we're here with Pat Kentner. She was the Master of Ceremonies for the evening. Uh, you did a great job, Pat. Thank your, you. Your first year, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, Pat, uh, what's the importance of the arts to you? Well, I'm a member of the Knox Presbyterian Choir and I really enjoy singing and uh, when we come together uh, we're going to do a unity a uh, choir service at uh, Bethel in about uh, another two weeks and I just enjoy it so much so I like everyone to appreciate it and uh, having come to these uh, fundraising shows for the last six years I realized how important it is for the young people to have a chance and get the bursary so that made me feel like uh, pitching in tonight. Thank you Pat. Okay now on with the show we welcome our first performer and headliner, Wes Mason, who has been enjoying a lot of success in the past year. His love of music is lifelong, and with his talents of songwriting as well as singing, Wes is a genuine star on the rise. Here he is now, Wes Mason. Hey guys. Towards something with your heart wide open, 
Wes Mason was this year's headlining act. Mason was named Best Young Songwriter at the 2016 Toronto Independent Music Awards and was named one of the top 20 artists under 20 in CBC's 2016 Searchlight competition. Sorry, start over again. Mic. Well, the mic was yeah. Sorry. That's good. good to go? So we're here with Wes Mace, and he just headlined a show at Knox, a benefit show. Uh, and uh, I mean, what a, a rise, huh, for you. Uh, what's going on in your life? Um, honestly, right now, like, uh, a lot of things are going on. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm actually flying down to LA um, to record a six song EP. Um, and I'm working with an incredible producer. I'm working with my producer, he's flying down with me. And we're working with Earl Powell, who is an incredible producer. Um, produces Jennifer Hudson, uh, Tito Jackson. You know, he's he's in the world of R&B. So, I mean, like, I can't wait to work with him and see what he's got to offer, because that's the next big step in my career. And then festivals will follow and stuff like that, hopefully. But you need to book that like a year in advance, so got to get on that. <laughs> well, wish you luck. I mean, your resume yeah. is uh, expanding at the very least. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just need to get the music. Yeah. You know, the music, without the music, I don't have anything to do. <laughs> right, right. So. There's a lot of kids here tonight, a lot of, you know, uh, young, very young people sometimes. Yeah. Uh, some of them also want to get into music, maybe have some of the opportunities you're experiencing in the moment. What would you say to them? Oh, I mean, support yourself. Uh, support what you're doing and never, never think of it as like your little thing that you shouldn't show anyone or don't like, you know, I know so many people who don't pursue their passions in life because they think that their passion isn't good enough or that they can't go far enough with it to make money or whatever the case is, but like, um, I don't know, surround yourself with people that are going to bring you up and don't don't push it off to the side, you know, embrace it. The arts is important and, um, you know, I always followed my uh, music and my parents were always very supportive of me and they were, <laughs> they were always there for me. So, uh, yeah, it really is all about, it's a mindset thing. And people just need to know that it's always possible to believe in it. Yeah, there's a little bit of rent there, but... Oh, that's, no, it's good stuff. <laughs> You're asking me more, let's let, because this is crazy loud in here. Yeah. Right now. So we just relocated to, to this room. It was really loud in the main lobby. It was a really busy show. Um, but uh, just one last question for you, as I know you're, you're busy and you've got other people trying to get your attention in the moment. You're the man of the hour. Uh, but this is the question we're asking other people. Um, what is the significance of the arts to you personally? Well, um, the arts is my whole world, for one thing. Um, uh, this is my job. Like, I don't. I'm pursuing this right now, 100%. Um, and I guess, like, I mean, what I would tell people is if you're involved in the arts and you have something you believe in, like, you need to, like, pursue it. You need to go for it. You need to surround yourself with people that bring you up. Um, because, like, if you're around the wrong people, a lot of the times it's the people around you that, you know, you, de you develop into very similar people to who you are around in your life. and. You know, if, if you're hanging with a bunch of musicians, you're going to become a musician. You're going to have that drive. You're going to realize the importance of it. But if you're hanging around people who, you know, maybe are they into sciences or they're into, you know, woodworking or whatever it is, just different interests, um, sometimes you can, you know, lose sight of what's important to you. Mm -hmm. So that's just like my deep, uh, yeah. my deep thing that I always think about. Cause like, you know, I didn't always surround myself with 
people who would bring me up. So um, I'm glad that you know I do now, but <laughs> well, that's it's important. Yeah. It is. Yeah. You surround yourself with people that are gonna bring you up. 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 So my name is Wes Mason, and this is Acton Up. Yeah, man. <laughs> Beautiful. While they're getting assembled, I'd like to say a few words about them. The Robert Little Globe Choir, under the direction of, our of the teacher, Marie Berlin, is a very popular extracurricular activity for grades three to five. Some 40 plus members enjoy singing and choreography and thoroughly enjoy performing in front of audiences. So here's your audience. I don't know what to say about myself. There's just so much to mention. But here I am speaking. No, no, not here on the stage. That's me, your host, Alex Olson. Yeah! Well, thanks everyone for coming out this evening. I see some of my friends in the talk. Uh, it was uh, one of my students was here today. It's one of the reasons why I was here. I'm also, uh, you may see him taking some pictures for the Acton Tanner. Uh, my friend Chris Golden is here. We uh, do a documentary about Acton, Acton Up. Uh, so uh, check out our website, actonup.ca, and you'll uh, you'll see some of the performers if you're here with uh, friends or family tonight. Uh, I just want to thank Marge Britton also, the committee that puts this together. Um, Marge believes in giving people opportunities. Uh, and uh, that's so important when it comes to the arts and, and to performing. If that's uh, the gift that is yours, right? Some people, everyone has different gifts. And for some people that sing, don't sing, the art in the back, whatever it is. And uh, with the, mu the money uh, that, that comes from this thing goes to that and allows those people to continue to pursue their passions. Um, and uh, I know that's, that's meant a lot for me and, and it meant a lot for the people that I've met. Um, I'd also like to just, uh, you know, congratulate Wes here. Uh, Wes and I met a couple years ago. I started a nonprofit a couple years ago, Inspire Holton. Uh, we work with youth in Holton Hills, and uh, we do a lot of art stuff ourselves. We do uh, talent shows and the like. And uh, uh, Wes going to California, you know, from a couple years ago when he was just like any of the other people in this room. Uh, you know, I, I heard his name. Oh, he, he'd like to cut, play a couple songs. That's great. Uh, he's, he's okay. He's a good singer and everything. He's good looking. But then, a couple years down the road, hey, look at that, huh? I'm not uh, flying to California tomorrow. So. Wow. I'd like to mention one more thing before I, I, I uh, give the mic away. 
Uh, another one of the youth that we, uh, within Spar Holton, came to shows like this a couple years ago, uh, Vivian Hicks was on launch, some of you may have seen, uh, I believe CTV, a uh, big program, over 10,000 people applied and she was one of, uh, I believe, the 10 who got in. Uh, again, another youth from Holton Hills who uh, followed her passion, had the support, had the people in the audience like yourselves who took time out of your evening and, and came to support her and, uh, and I mean, 10,000 people and she was one of 10. So. Uh, let's continue supporting the arts in our community. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dad. An up-and-coming young man, for sure. Now I'd like to talk about a lady I'm very fond of. Let's just cut. <laughs> <laughs> I met Leanne Monaghan. So we're here with Leanne Monaghan. She uh, is a speaker, a fitness instructor, local business owner. Mm -hmm. I just heard some words from her a little bit earlier. Uh, Leanne, thanks for, for talking with us. You're welcome. Thank um, you. So, so this is a, an arts benefit. I mean, the money is going to to people who uh, are, are pursuing their passions through the arts. This big, big topic. Um, right. What's the importance of the arts to you? Well, I really admire artists. Like in my limited definition of what an artist is, with um, expressing through music or um, painting or the visual arts. And, you know, it, it just it allows people to free themselves up, I think, and, um, you know, work from the heart and express passion. And I just admire all of those qualities. So that's what the arts mean to me, just expression in whatever form it comes in, right? right. And it's good for the soul, right? right? You know, you're a brilliant artist. I see you on stage, so yeah, yeah, I just think it's a real therapeutic, good for the soul, and yeah, aligns you with the universe. Thank you, Leah. Appreciate You're welcome. it. welcome. No, no. So, the first thing, or the first point that I wanted to talk about, and this was actually inspired by Pat, because she was talking about it being nervous a little bit before she got on stage, and she said, I just had to breathe, Leanne, I just had to breathe. And you know what, breath is the essence of life. And with Pat, it calmed her down so that she could, you know, be on stage and, and talk and introduce everybody. And, you know, she, in her mind, she was slowing herself down, and that's what breath awareness actually does. I teach a lot of breath um, techniques, breathing techniques, with my yoga classes and just with clients in, in general. So for the women, the women in the audience, we're guilty of what they call apex breathing. So we only breathe to our chest. And you've got to be able to bring the breath down through the lungs and right to our bellies. So I'm going to invite you to just take a few moments and I'm going to guide you through what we call diaphragmatic breathing. So just begin to breathe through your nose and just become aware of the rising and falling of your chest. Then, layer two is become aware of how the inhale affects the rib cage. So opening up the rib cage, not only back to front, but side to side. So you have this whole swirling action of the breath through the rib cage, through the lungs. And finally, the last part of the breathing is to bring the breath all the way down to the belly. And just feeling the rise and the fall, especially on the inhale, how the belly can expand. And that's probably the only time where you'll ever hear me say, okay, you can let your belly expand because I'm all about Pilates and folding it in. Um, so just allowing yourself to have this deep breath and it oxygenates your blood, it helps calm you down, and it just brings you into the present moment because this is all that we really have. And to be able to slow down and just to appreciate what's around us. 
The benefit concert has been running for seven years and raises money for scholarships that local artists can apply for. In previous years, they've had headlining artists that have included Monty Grieg, George Eliot, and Russell Braun. Ms. Cora Bailey, Janet Wilson, Laura Taylor, and Trudy Preed are local artists who had their art displayed for event goers during intermission, and before and after the show. Uh, so we're here with Louise Bolkin at the moment. She's uh, an amateur artist and a uh, youth who watched the show this evening. Uh, Louise, what's the importance of the arts to you? Uh, I don't know. It's fun. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's like a distraction for me from life and doing things I don't like. <laughs> Right. You uh, so you, you draw, but you also you you play some piano, right? You play a little bit I, of music. I attempt. I try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And singing's a thing I try to do as well. Excellent. Thank you, Louise. Darren Gendron was the drummer for Acton District High School's jazz band. Okay, well, we're here with Darren Gendron. He was the drummer for the Acton High School uh, jazz band. Uh, an amazing set. Uh, Darren, what's the importance of the arts to you? Honestly, it, it's just fun to create, show off your what you created to the world. Yeah. Now it must be interesting for you because I mean, with the jazz band, these are you know maybe older pieces, some of them, mm -hmm. uh, and definitely written by other people. You also write your own music. I so do. what's the what's the comparison between your personal stuff and and then you know playing in a band? How does that? What's the difference there? Again, I just like to play music. Simple as that. <laughs> Brilliant, Darren. Thank you. <laughs> That's <laughs> good. No, we're with uh, Walter Hazard here. Walter uh, played several different acts in the show. He was with the Acton High School Jazz Band, also with his father, um, and uh, Acton Town Hall Players yep. as well. Did a bit of comedy. Um, so, well, what's the importance of the arts to you? Well, I mean, I do a lot of. I'm in the Citizens Band, and. I think I, I do a lot around in the community as well, even, I mean, even with you, actually. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I think that it's good to go around and kind of spread that, because, I, I mean, if I, if I learn something myself, it, it's good for me as well, but it, it almost be selfish just to hold it in for myself. So I think that if you go around and spread it in the community, it's, it's, it's really what music's about. Yeah. 